What's up, TW fans? Jake here. We're in the Mustad booth, and I'm with Bass Pro Tour Angler James Elam, and we're talking about some new Mustad hooks. I mean, you guys got a whole lineup of hooks this year, a bunch of different stuff. I mean, pretty much covers all your bases. We got a few samples of them early to check them out, and I'm telling you, man, Mustad has got some mean hooks coming out this year. So, uh, you know, if, if we look down here, we can really kind of go into the technologies that, that Mustad is utilizing in their new, new hooks. So James, tell me a little bit about uh, about the new hook points and, and what's going on here. Yeah, so all these new hooks, uh, really excited about them. They have the new alpha point technology. They're made with a mm -hmm. different wire. So these hooks are all a little bit thinner than we were used to before, but they're sharper, they're strong and rigid for their size. Uh, we have the alpha grip clip and the alpha grip uh, finesse that have a new pin system on them that are they're laser welded on. As and you, you, you can know, see that, that welding on there. So those keepers look rock solid on there. And we also have an, a new little red epoxy on there, which keeps your fluorocarbon lines from getting frayed, and uh, it protects you know the snail knots when you're uh, pinch, pitching around, flipping around, punching, especially with that hook that you have in your hand. Right yeah, there. that big flipping hook. That's almost a that's a must-have feature if you're going to do some serious flipping. If you have that opened-up eyelet, it's just going to cause problems. Yeah, you yeah, know, absolutely. damage to your line. It's gonna, you know, foul your knot up, all kinds mm -hmm. of stuff like that. So that, that's an awesome hook. Um, so with this flipping hook, I mean, this is gonna be your heavy duty flipping hook. You know, uh, you know, big baits, big line. Is that's where you're using this mostly? Absolutely. You know, 65, 50 pound braid, uh, flipping, pitching, snail knotting. But I'm also gonna use that a lot of times like power shotting because it's so thin and so sharp. Like in mm -hmm. a three aught size, you can throw a little. A worm on there and do a little power shot, and, and it's it's not too big of a hook, you know, to penetrate with 12 pound, 15 pound fluorocarbon. So it's yeah. really versatile. Yeah, I see that. I mean, uh, if you look at that wire gauge, it's not an overly thick hook, but I mean, it is razor sharp. Yep. But I mean, you cannot flex that wire, even Absolutely. with. Uh, I mean, I think I got a you know a four out size hook, and it it's not super super heavy gauge like an old school style flipping hook where you need 65 to drive that thing. Absolutely, so it's gonna work well with four, four carbon is, you know, also as well. So this is the flipping hook, and then we got another hook here too. We got the, 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 the finesse hook, So right? this is the finesse hook. Uh, this is the ultimate like Nico rig hook for me. You yeah. Know, this shape is what has been proven to be really good, you know, throwing a nail weight, you know, however you wanna do it, wacky rigging, you know, whether you wanna uh, go weightless or with a nail weight. This is, you know, the hook that I'm going to use mm -hmm. most of the time. And uh, there again, you know, you fight these fish, uh, you know, wacky rigging, you're going to have a lot of problems with your line coming around and getting stuck yeah. in that line tie. So this has got the epoxy on it, and it's got a really good keeper also if you want to thread a drop shot bait on and yeah. use this for a drop shot hook. That's what I was thinking, you know, like that lighter wire, you know, finesse drop shot yeah. style hook when you want to Texas rig mm -hmm. it. I do that a ton just to avoid snagging, mm -hmm. and that looks like that's going to be the hook to do it with. Absolutely. So Absolutely. If you guys want to check all these out, they're going to be available soon at tacklewarehouse.com. Okay, next up, we got a couple more finesse hooks. We got the wide drop shot and weedless drop shot hook. So tell me a little bit about these ones, James. Yeah, so this is the drop shot hook of choice, you know, for small baits, smallmouth fishing, dropping down vertically, nose yeah. hooking baits. Uh, yeah. Also, this is going to be a great, uh, you know, just wacky rig hook also. Yeah. For the times you need to, uh, you want that style hook. We had the weedless version too, which is really key a lot of times with, with the yeah. wacky rig and, and nail weight and, and throwing, you know, that style of bait, so. And I've noticed too, all the, all the, the, the whole lineup of hooks does have that kind of slick finish on the outside of we've, it as we've well. We've got a special metal, and it's mm -hmm. it's not only you know smaller and rigid, and you know the hook point's going to drive in better, but it's mm -hmm. also got this slick coating which helps it penetrate better. Yeah. You know, also it's got the alpha point technology just like the rest of the hooks, mm -hmm. and we've got the epoxy glue, you know, to keep your line tie again from getting into that little divot in. Yeah. Uh, in the, no, uh, hook, which is so. great. It's, no one ever thinks Especially about that line. with uh, you know with small finesse hooks yeah. that being an issue. Uh, you know, especially if you're running a drop shot, running that line back through, you know, things get twisted up pretty bad. But I mean, that that gap on there is pretty substantial in, in such a small hook. It's got a lot of bite. It's got yeah. a lot, of, little bit of a curl to it, so those fish kind of get trapped and gets, you know, Stuck hung in, in the there. corner of their mouth, and they're it's yeah. it's staying in there. I bet you're looking forward to using this on the upcoming smallmouth tournaments. I North. am, and especially you know having that epoxy on there, you'll get you know 90% of the time you'll you'll fight a smallmouth, you'll get them in. Mm -hmm. You go to check your line, and that that. You know, sometimes that line tie, that knot can be stuck in that little divot. But now we've yeah. got the glue on there, so it's going to be a big, uh, big thing. I think. That's great. I mean, when there's 
when those things are fight so hard and you guys are catching them on such light line. Yeah, nice. And that's going to help you too, man. That, that hooks, you, you can go down to that five, six pound test when mm -hmm. you really need to mm -hmm. and not have any issues with getting the hooks set in them. Absolutely. I like that color too, you know, just a little bit stealthier. It is, than the, beautiful. Than the black nickel hooks, you know, just, uh, especially those clear water fisheries you guys yeah. are going to go to. Yeah. It's going to be a phenomenal hook. If you guys want to check these out, just make sure to head over to the website, tacklewarehouse.com. Okay, next up, I got the one that I was actually most excited about. When, Me too. Yeah, when I got the samples of it, you know, I didn't even know all the technology that was in this when, yep. uh, you know, until I just got explained to yeah. it, which is phenomenal. Uh, so we got the new Assault and the Assault Heavy. Mm -hmm. So uh, me, me and James were both pumped about this one. So let's go over some of the features and kind of why this hook is going to stand out from a lot of the other extra wide gap style hooks on the market. Absolutely. So when I look at this, man, I think I'm a wide gap junkie, right? So me, uh, me too, totally. everything you can make better about a wide gap, I'm all about it. And this has got the tactical mm -hmm. bend to it, which that's the first thing you notice is that squared off back section. Oh yeah. And what that allows you to do, or you know, when you go to hook a fish, your mm -hmm. bait's going to collapse so much easier and get a bite on that fish and, you know, get, you know, pin them and, and hook them a lot better because yeah. the bait's able to get out of the way. And that's one of the big things and the big reasons why we use a wide gap hook, especially like Texas rigging a tube because we have a fat bait right there. Yeah. Uh, but we also have the Z bend and this is a very unique bend that uh, really holds on baits very, very well. But also we have a lot of gap right here mm -hmm. that, you know, the, the, the head part of that bait, I want to say, gets out of the way really easy so you get that bite in the fish. And that's, that's awesome. That's something that, you know, I would have never thought about in, in designing a hook is that gap right there to get the head out of the way. Yep. It's just to give you more bite on the hook and having the bait, you know, slide down yep. quickly out of the way. I think, you know, that Z-Bend you guys got on there, you guys nailed it with that mm -hmm. one. And it's going to be, it's just going to help, you know, rigging and keeping everything in line mm -hmm. so much more efficient. Mm -hmm. I mean, some of our guys in our office, yep. they take their wide gaps and they go home and they hand tie keepers onto them yep. just to keep them on there and yep. prevent them from sliding down and tearing up your plastic. So, uh, you know, super excited to see that new technology in a wide gap hook. Absolutely. And just like all the other new hooks this year, we've got the Alpha Point technology. Yeah. It's, it's sharper mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, it's thinner for its strength rating uh, than we were used to before. So we get a thin, sharp hook. You've got the uh, normal version, I've normal. got the heavy version. And uh, you know, the heavy version is not really that big. So, you know, that's the one thing you're concerned about is lightweight in a hook. And you're still getting it with a heavy ga or a gauge hook here. Yeah. So we've got the epoxy on the eye, man. The, you know, they're you they're know. phenomenal looking hooks. So so like like you said, we have the regular, you know, your regular wire, and then we have the heavy wire. Where, where are you kind of using, where do you draw the line between the two when you're deciding on which one you're gonna pull out? So definitely if I'm flipping, if I'm throwing braid or, or throwing a 7.6 heavy with 20 pound line flipping, yeah. I'm probably going to use the heavy. But I also feel like I can use a lighter one. But a lot of times, you know, I'm throwing a weightless uh, fluke or, or minnow style bait or uh -huh. something like that. Maybe even, you know, just pitching around a, a stick bait and I'm going to use, I'm going to opt for the lighter wire one, especially with lighter line, 15 pound line, 12 pound line, maybe even 17. It can definitely mm -hmm. handle that. But when I want something a little bit beefier, flipping, pitching, heavier line or braid, I'm gonna, you know, opt for the heavy, so. That's awesome. Well, thanks for giving us the rundown on that one. Of course, you know, if you guys wanna check these out, you can head over to tackwarehouse.com uh, and get yourself some of these awesome new wide gap hooks from Mustad. Okay, and next up, we got another series of hooks within that Alpha lineup. We got the Infiltrator swim bait series of swim, Alpha swim bait series of swim bait hooks. What a mouthful. But uh, let, let's go over some of the, the, the key features on these, James. So the first thing I noticed with the swim bait hooks, the alpha spring that we have on here, you know, yeah. that holds your baits really well. It's got a double helix uh, design to it to where, you know, your bait's threading onto two different wires at the same time and it keeps it centered really well. Two so turns. much easier to yeah. rig too. You know, those old mm -hmm. school cork chairs that when it all first yeah. started, it's such a pain to get those things straight and mm -hmm. you know get everything in line. Absolutely. But, you know we we've got we've got that going on and it's a it's a quick deal. You know two turns and the, the bait's on. That's nice. You know, th this this is catered for bigger swim baits and you mm -hmm. know lately you know the, the craze has been throwing bigger you know soft body swim baits, rigging them on a hook like this, and this is just made for that. The collapsibility to this the back bend here, it, it's going to be really good, just like the wide gap hook that we have. It's going to collapse the bait. You're going to get a good hook up with the fish. And those but gaps are huge on there. They that's, are. You're going to get, and that's usually the problem with those bigger swim baits. You know, mm -hmm. you have so much more plastic on mm -hmm. there, and it's hard. Even you know, on some of those big wide gap hooks, it's hard to get. 
the baits to compress and actually get a good amount of hook point out there to hook those fish. You guys definitely solved it with that one. Absolutely, and you're right here, you know, towards the head in the spring also, mm -hmm. you know, this is designed strategically for collapsing that, the head of that bait too. Yeah. Because that's important as well as the back end. So to get that out of the way. Yeah, it's really steep the right fish. there on the, on the angle of the head of that, or, you know, right there at the eyelet. That angle is real steep, gets that head right out of the way, because that would be a problem too if it's not deep enough, you know, there's no room for that plastic to go anywhere. Absolutely. And you know, most of those big soft plastic baits, you know, they are pretty solid all the mm -hmm. way up into the head. And yeah. you really only have that slit down there in the back end and not up at mm -hmm. the head of it. Mm -hmm. and so, another thing I had noticed you guys said is you got all the options. Yep. I mean, we had, yep. you got the, the unweighted, unbladed version. The naked one. Yeah, the yep. naked one. And then we have, you know, all the bells and whistles. You get the weight on there, you get a blade. You can get uh, weighted without a blade. Absolutely. So I got you covered whatever style you like. I mean, this is such a huge category of fishing now. And yep. now you guys are covering all the bases mm -hmm. that you would need for yep. any type of that, uh, you know, weedless, mm -hmm. you know, soft plastic style swim bait fishing. That's right, all with the Alpha Point, the new wire technology, it's slick coated. And, yeah, you know, it just makes for a better hook. Oh, for sure. And those weights you guys did on there, I mean, mm -hmm. that. They're, you know, they're, they're epoxied and, and, they're, and just, they're beautiful. And they're streamlined too. They're not. Just, yeah, they're not super wide. Mm -hmm. You know, they're nice and compact. They're going to cut gonna, the water. Going to cut the water. Uh, they got that nice, like James said, got that nice epoxy coating on there instead of just that raw chunk of lead, which a lot of times can look pretty unnatural, uh, especially if, you know, it's down farther down mm -hmm. the shank of the hook. You know, it doesn't really fit with the profile. That's going to, you know, clean it up a little bit for you. Yeah. yeah, so if you guys want to check out any more of the swim bait hooks here from Mustad, make sure to head over to tacklewarehouse.com. They'll be available soon, uh, so get them while you can. Okay, next up from Mustad, I mean, could there be a, you know, a better crankbait hook on the market that's ever been developed? Probably the most no. popular hook that's ever been designed the must add triple grip. Now what do we got, James? So you stole the uh, words right out of my mouth. This yeah. is a hook that I've been throwing for years and this is especially good, you know, largemouth fishing. Just something about the way a largemouth eats a crankbait and this gets a pin and it keeps them from throwing that bait when they've got all that, you know, big head shake to yeah. them. It keeps that, you know, hook locked in there. So new, you know, for this triple grip this year is we have a new wire construction. It's got the slick coating. It's got the alpha point technology. It's sharper. And uh, the biggest thing for me, though, is the inline eye. Now we have an inline eye that's in line with one of the points of the treble hook. So that way, say you go put this on a belly of a crankbait, you can have it cradle the bait's belly. And so you got more hook points, you know, out towards where you're going to hook a fish instead of fighting the bait and skinning up the bait and, yeah. and, and all that stuff. It just makes so much more sense. Also, you know, with an inline hook, I like to line up this top line, top hook on the very back of my hook, so you get those fish that come up over the top of it. It's going to get them in the roof of the mouth. That, that, we, one hook. that that's huge. Just that yeah. little difference in the hook eye mm -hmm. makes such a huge difference in performance. And you know, like we said, there, there, we didn't think the triple grip can ever get any better. But it did. I, I've. I don't know how many triple grips I've bought, and I don't. I don't ever throw a crankbait or you know any kind of hard bait without replacing the hooks and putting right. triple grips on it. A hundred percent of the time. Uh, and now you know it's even better. You know, it, I'm sure it's gonna be Kevin and all your guys' number one hook that goes on yep. every single bait. Mm -hmm. So definitely one you guys are gonna want to have. Upgrade all your upgrade all your hard baits 100, percent and you're gonna hook and land more fish with this one thing. One key point also, it's gonna be yes. a lighter weight than what you're used to. So you know this finicky finesse mm -hmm. style crank baits and jerk baits, it's gonna yeah. not add so much weight. Which is also huge. Yeah. You know, sometimes when you put those. Uh, you know, you want to get to those beefed up triple grips and you put them on your, you know, your favorite jerk bait and you totally ruin the action. Yeah, of you it. want as big as you can get without that. Yeah, yeah. so this is going to solve yeah. a lot of those problems with that lighter weight, but mm -hmm. it's going to be sharper, stronger, uh, lighter wire, stealthier finish, just all around, you know, improving on every single aspect of the triple grip, which and, is huge. Yes, and I can't tell you how many times I wanted that same hook with you know, a feather tied to it for a topwater because that's such an important topwater hook. Those fish are just hard to keep pinned. And lucky, lucky you. Look what you guys <laughs> yeah, got. Yeah, we got. So there it. is a feather option as well. So I mean, they got the regular, the the naked hook, and then they got you covered with a feather option as well, mm -hmm. which is going to be huge. And that short shank. Yeah, that short shank. You know, uh, high performance triple grip with uh, you know all the different colors. Uh, you know, feather yeah, trebles on it. White chartreuse, yeah. You got it all for all your top waters, poppers, walking baits, all that stuff. If you want a feather or the naked hook, they got you covered. Check them out, tacklewarehouse.com.
All right, next up from Must Have, we got some jig heads here, yeah. James. Uh, you know, I wasn't even aware of these till we just pulled them out of the booth here. Uh, so the first one, we got the ATAC stand-up head. That is a mean looking stand-up head. So give us a little rundown on that one. Yeah, so why this is important to me, we know we, we have our new wire construction in here of, of a hook. Mm -hmm. You know, we got the slick coating and you know, the new alpha point technology. And I'm throwing this on light line most of the time. I'm throwing it on, you know, eight to 10 pound line on a spinning rod. And I want good penetration, but I, I want a sharp, rigid hook that's thin wire. And that's what this has. That, so, that's, it's a must have. I mean, yes. Uh, I mean, that strength critical, so you're not bending yeah. out and losing fish, but yeah. I mean, you guys are getting the hook penetration, especially, you know, when you get out there on a long cast with a spinning rod on light line, yeah. you don't owe it, especially with a shaky head. I, it's every time. You lose so many fish because of that. Yeah, and it's a, you know, I'm always, you know, I give it the old double hook set just yeah. to be sure, because yeah. I don't know how many fish I've lost on that first jump on a shaky head, and you're going to solve that with that yeah, thing. Yeah, absolutely. So very, uh, you know, excited about that. It, again, it's got the alpha spring uh, double helix technology to it so man it, it, it's going to hold a bait on really really holds well, on so. and it's just easier to thread them on as absolutely. well absolutely there's One not a lot of shaky, yeah boom. not a lot of shaky heads that have a screw like system that is that simple to use absolutely which is phenomenal so and i mean it's going to be a a, a must-have go-to for you guys out on the tournament trail Definitely shake your head plays. Uh, yeah, does. all the time. Always does. And the next one we got we got a new net head. Yep. So let's go over let's check that one out there. So same thing, you know, we we've got the double um, helix wrapped alpha wire on the shank of the hook. So you can just thread that net on there. Uh, your saw plastic beta choosing. Uh, again, with the new mm -hmm. wire technology, got a really strong rigid hook with the sharp point, the new alpha point technology. And that's that's what you gotta have with light yeah. line, throwing this on a spinning rod. Um, it's gonna penetrate, you know, the small mouth, a lot of times you're fishing for small mouth with the net. They've got a mm. hard mouth and it's so important to have a sharp, strong hook. So that's what we got here. Yeah, must have and I mean the screw lock on yeah. the the screw lock on the shank of the hook, you know, like you know, must have feature. Yeah. Uh, and I know our guy behind the camera loves to throw a net head and he is gonna be fired up about having a screw yeah. lock on the shank of the hook. Probably yeah. his favorite feature of yeah. all, all the terminal jig heads. Yeah, that one's probably gonna go missing. And I noticed the same thing on a small swim bait head. Another awesome piece of terminal, you know, jig head to have in the arsenal. So you can't underestimate the power of a small, you know, swim bait nowadays. hundred you know, percent. It, it's just this, this small little swim baits catch so many fish, whether it's spring, summer, fall, winter, whatever it be. And it's really hard to find a good jig head with a light wire hook out there on the market to throw those small baits on on 12 pound line or on a spinning mm -hmm. rod. And there again, that's what we have with the alpha yeah. uh, technology. So the alpha uh, point technology, you know, you have that sharp point and a small gauge wire hook for a small bait and small line. And it, you guys are hitting it perfect, you know, super small light wire, sharp, but super strong, which is, it, yes. it's so yeah. hard to, to get that balance right mm -hmm. and get both of those in mm -hmm. one. And that small swim bait head, you know, that's that's a huge player with you guys now mm -hmm. with all the live scoping yeah. and, you know, forward facing sonar and looking out there and casting at, mm -hmm. at fish. Having the perfect jig head for that is gonna be critical. And, you know, mm -hmm. I'm personal, or I'm personally like, I kind of favor a screw lock head and that's what this yeah. has too. It's got the double helix. Uh, and it's not a it's not a small screw lock on there. That thing, you know, it's it's oversized. It's nearly the width of that. And you don't want of a small that head. One. No, because yeah. it's not going to do you any good. Yeah. You know, but that big one, that's going to hold those baits on there. Because I'm sure when you guys are out there, you know, t I mean, time is so critical. Yeah. You have to, you know, you hook a fish. The school's fired up. You need to get that get that jig head or get that swim bait mm -hmm. back in the water to capitalize on those fish. Yeah. And I'm sure that's going to be another key player yeah. for you when you move up north Absolutely. here in the next few months. All right, if you guys want more information on, on all these new uh, Mustad jig heads, make sure to head over to the website at tacklerouse.com. All right, and last up from the Mustad booth, we got a couple new finesse hooks here, James. So we just found out about these ones. We got the Chinu light and the, wow, oh, how did he say it? The Isima, Isima. I can't even pronounce it. It was something like that. Yeah. So we got a couple new shapes. Let's talk about these. What what can we use these for? So these are really uh, popular uh, hook shapes from Japan that, uh, you know, they can be used for a lot of different finesse techniques, you know, mostly light line spinning rod techniques. The sky's the limit. Uh, there's just a couple new options out there that guys can use and doing I mean, whatever they want to do. These are super finesse hooks. This yeah. little guy, you know, super light wire number four mm -hmm. for your, you know, your smallest, you know, nose hook in a bait. 
Um, you know, we got this one with the, the straight eye, a little bit heavier, a little bit offset. Be a great wacky rig hook, you know. I, I think so. A lot of guys are already bending those hooks out anyway mm -hmm. to, you know, to get that little turn on it. Yeah, perfect. You know, shape. for the for wacky rig. So just a couple little bit different options from, mm -hmm. for you know, from you know, brought over from Japan. Those guys know more about finesse fishing than we ever will. Seems like it. And you know, the, the most important thing here is you know the the, the hook shape, obviously, but that that alpha. Uh, the alpha tape construction and you know the wire it's slick smooth yeah it's small all the same technologies from all the other hooks yeah. that we went yeah. over you know yeah. it's gonna it's gonna transfer right over to the, yeah. right over to these ones as well and just give you guys just way more options to yeah. throw out there so that's gonna wrap it up that's all we got today from the mustad booth I mean we covered a ton of stuff uh, James thank you very much for your time thank you if yeah. you guys want to check out all this mustad stuff it's gonna be available soon at tacklewarehouse.com